Welcome to episode 49 of Rare Hot Wheels and part 2 of my NSRA Swap Week finds. First up, as last time, I'll show you some of the cars that were gathered there, and then on to the rest of my finds from the show. Enjoy. Right, I found me a couple of Sunshine lookalike wheels in 8x15. I think these are made by Wolf Race. They're called Vortex. Anybody know? And now for the remainder of my Hot Wheels and other brand finds. Back in 76, Mattel was working on a prototype for the Mac 5 car from the Speed Racer movie. Unfortunately, the copyright holders to the movie didn't allow Mattel to produce the car. So with Larry Wood's help, they reworked it and launched it as the second wind. This being the 1997 version, Mattel eventually got copyright to produce the Mac 5, initially for the Japanese market, but since then it has been produced in the mainline and special ranges. Way back in 1978, the 57 T-Bird was launched in its second guise, as designed by Larry Wood. This is the 1998 edition, and if you notice, there is no porthole in the rear pillar and the roof. This was deleted many years ago to save money on the casting. However, it was reintroduced a few years later on. A version of this casting has been released almost every year since 1978, though in recent years the releases have been much less frequent. And now for the Mopar fans, we have this 70 Roadrunner. This casting was designed by Phil Rahlman and introduced back in 98. This Metal Flake Jade example was made available to the public in 2009. And doesn't that colour suit it, ladies and gents? Incidentally, back in 1968, Chrysler paid Warner Brothers $50,000 to allow the use of the Roadrunner emblem and name on their cars. Now this little car is one of Britain's finest, the Anglia or a pop panel van. It's another Phil Rahman design and was introduced back in the year 2000. This one's from the 35th anniversary year 2003 and is from the Boulevard Buccaneers series and features a treasure map on the roof. Some say the number of rotted and drag race converted pops or Anglias on the roads in the UK outnumber the originals. The Harry Bradley designed Diora is a survivor from 1968. This 2004 Riptide Rescue Diora is from the 1994 retooled casting. Although this one didn't come with surfboards, the rear window still has holes in it to mount surfboards in. Now 
now over to Matchbox with this 1972 Road Dragster. Introduced in 71, it ran through to 1975. And finally we have a Corgi Whiz Wheels Adams Dragstar. It was introduced in 1969 and features four blown V8s. Next time on Rarer Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels.